A surprise move today in court by a man accused of killing a Miller Place mom in a hit and run. As News 12 Long Island's Andrew Anger tells us, the defendant refused a plea deal that would have given him a lighter sentence. Every day, 16-year-old Serena Mangino says she thinks about her mother, Tracy. It's almost been a year now, and I'm never going to come home and say, hey, mom, how was your day? Police say Tracy Mangino was killed by a truck while she was walking along North Country Road in Miller Place last October. She was just 100 feet away from her home. The truck never stopped. Christopher, do you remember what happened that night? In April, Christopher Campbell was charged with the hit and run accident, a crime that carries a maximum of seven years in prison. Today, Campbell turned down a plea of two to six years. His attorney telling News 12 they're ready to go to trial. Even though the Manginos tell me they would have supported the plea deal in this case, they say the maximum penalty for a defendant who leaves the scene of a fatal accident is just too low and that something needs to be done. It has to be changed that, you know, you stay, you face the consequences, you take off, got to pay the price. Seven years is not enough. For years, prosecutors have been pushing Albany lawmakers to enact stiffer penalties for hit and run offenses, but the proposal has never been passed. The law is not right. And what bothers the Manginos even more is that in 2012, Campbell was arrested for DWI and leaving the scene of another accident. Though the two cases are separate, this family is looking for some kind of justice. He needs to pay for his, for his crime. In Central Islip, Andrew Enger, News 12, Long Island. Now hearings for the case are scheduled for November. The trial could begin at the start of the new year.